Four to six litres per day, up to 200 litres a year. Spray out a small bedroom, feature wall, or a small section of fence. This is the Graco Magnum Project Plus. Hey guys, Anthony from Go Industrial. Today we've got the Graco Magnum Project Plus. It's Graco's entry-level DIY sprayer. We're gonna be going over some key specs, what the unit's good for, what it's not good for, and comparing it to the other Graco Magnum units in the DIY range. At only four and a half kilos or 10 pounds and standing 35 centimeters tall, this unit takes compact to a whole new level. The unit's equipped with a durable stainless steel pump and can handle up to 3,000 PSI in pressure. It can spray up to four to six liters a day, which is 200 liters a year as mentioned before and that puts it in our lightweight DIY projects category. What that means is you'll be able to spray things like furniture, small trim jobs, a small bedroom, a feature wall or a small section of fence or brick facade. When we're talking about the paints and materials that this unit's capable of spraying we're looking at the usual suspects so that's oils, stains, varnishes and interior acrylics. It may handle some exterior acrylics but it only has a maximum tip size of 15 thou so keep that in mind when specking up your project. In addition to that, it won't spray any solvent-based paints because of the brushed motor, and it won't spray any roofing membranes or any texture coatings. So don't even think about it. It'll just not be a good day for you. It'll clog up the pump, blow out the motor. No good. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. A pretty cool feature that's included in the box is the fast flush adapter. This is a small little adapter that allows you to connect your suction tube to your garden hose. It means you don't have to carry loads of buckets of water around to flush it out. You can just get in, get out, super easy, super quick, super clean, no mess. One thing to quickly note, you may have seen our other videos where we have the prime button that allows you to free up the ball and spring. This does not have that, so if that's something that you are considering, maybe it's a feature that you really like on the other units, it doesn't include it on this unit. Is it difficult to use? Well, we have had plenty of experience when it comes to these units, so we may be biased. However, when we're on site with our fellow DIYs, it usually only takes about 15 minutes to have them set up, primed and spraying. It's super user friendly and we have a three part series on YouTube on how to set it up, spray advice and cleaning up advice. There's also a section on tips and extensions. So you've got everything you need to complete your spray job. If you do get stuck though, or you have any more questions, you can always comment below or get in contact with us directly. We're always happy to help. Is this unit the right unit for you? Well, that's where we like to break it down into three easy questions. One, how much are you spraying and what are you spraying? Two, what configuration do you need? And three, do you wanna be able to replace the pump? From these three questions, there's five essential things that you need to know. What's the maximum tip I can use? What's the maximum hose length I can run? What configurations are there? What comes inside the box? And lucky last, replaceable pump. That's the Pro Exchange or the standard. Maximum tip size and maximum hose length come down to the size of the motor as well as the pump. So for the Project Plus unit, you can have a maximum tip of up to 15 thou, which should cover you for most interior coatings and also your stains and oils. It should say on the TDS on the paint what tip is recommended. If it doesn't, get in contact, we're always happy to help or refer to our super handy tip article guide. It's linked below, check it out. Hose length, what's that all about? In the box, you get a standard length of hose and then there's also a maximum length of hose that you can run for each unit. With the Project Plus here, you get seven and a half meters in the box, but you can only run up to 15 meters of hose. So if you're spraying an exterior or a two bedroom house, maybe you just want to keep the sprayer outside the room that you're spraying, something to consider there. Configuration is a question of storage versus transportability. It doesn't get more storable than the Magnum Project Plus. It's very small and it can fit into almost any space that you have in a cupboard or in your shed. What sets apart the cart mount units is the paint tin hook, the hose hook, and then the wheels. So if you've got a bad shoulder or something like that and you can't be carrying around a unit, then maybe look at one of the cart configured units, the X7, the Pro X19. Next up is what comes in the box. So there's three standard items and then there's three items that differ. One, obviously the unit itself. Two, the standard hose length changes. And then three, the spray gun or handpiece. The Project Plus X5 and X7 all come with seven and a half meters of hose, whereas the Pro X17 and Pro X19 come with 15 meters hose standard in the box. The Project Plus through the X7 also come with the SG2 gun, whereas the Pro X17 and Pro X19 come with the SG3 gun. 
The difference there is the SG2 gun doesn't have a swivel in between the hose and the gun, and the SG3 does, which means you can maneuver it around a lot easier and it takes a lot of weight off your wrist while spraying. Lastly, do you want to be able to replace your pump? The Pro X17 and Pro X19 units come with the Pro Exchange pump, which means you can easily slot the pump in and out for ease of replacement or repair. The Project Plus X5 and X7 units have a built-in pump, which means you cannot replace them and there are fewer repairable parts. So if you're looking for longevity, maybe consider one of the Pro X units. So what do we recommend? Well, this is a great little unit. However, you're not gonna be spraying much more than a small bedroom or a project like that. Now with that said, you're not gonna be compromising quality when it comes to this unit. It's very affordable and it still delivers a really high quality finish and that's where we would recommend it. If you've got a small project and you want something that's gonna be really quick, really good quality finish, this is a unit for you. Just because it doesn't have the Pro Exchange pump doesn't mean it's not gonna last for a very long time when you're only doing small projects at a time. Now, if you're looking to spray a two to three bedroom interior and exterior, maybe think X5 or X7. And if you're looking to spray anything beyond that, maybe you've got a two story house or a three to four bedroom interior exterior project, then maybe think about one of the Pro X ranges. And if you're spraying a roof, don't think about the Graco DIY range at all. That's it guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. Let us know what you're gonna be spraying with your Graco Magnum Project Plus or your DIY unit in general, or what you'd like to spray. If you've got any projects in mind, we'd love to hear it. Comment below, happy spraying. Four to six liters a year. <laughs> <laughs> I do one paint job per year. <laughs>